Over the next couple of days, our journey south is taking us directly through Los Cabos, a highly tourist-filled area of Mexico that we would normally avoid, but with the promise of mountain biking, we're sticking around a little bit to get these beach bums moving, Penelope included. Bienvenidos a Baja. Oh, these croissants are to die for. We're definitely eating here again tomorrow. Okay, Dal. We're approaching our halfway point, which is Cabo San Lucas. We're actually gonna check out Cabo. A lot of van lifers just cruise on by. I have never been, and Melanie has only been on a cruise like 15 years ago. I so, think that's accurate, actually. So we're going to check it out. There is supposed to be a little bit of biking there. Maybe we'll show you some. See you there. We are having just a grand old time here in Cabo. <laughs> we tried to go to one mountain biking trail. Turns out that it's behind, it's in like a private property gated area um, with just the small initiation fee of $75,000 and an annual fee of $20,000. So we could not go to those trails. Trail Forks is an app we use primarily for finding mountain bike trails. It helps with planning and route finding, but isn't clear when a trail is on public or private property. A question we've never really had to answer until we got to Cabo. Turns out the only trail system here that's public is Las Antenas, and spoiler, we're heading there soon. Anyway, we had to take like a bridge, a retorno, to get back on the highway to go in the other direction to go to a beach. But the retorno is under a bridge like this one. An official retorno. It's yes. literally a sandy pit under a pass. <laughs> so driving in Cabo has been really exciting. <laughs> Evan is trying to turn around this bummer of a day for me with a fancy, fancy lunch. See that? We got asparagus, chips, cashew sauce, um, tempa with barbecue, cauliflower, kale. We call that the works. I'm bummed because it was way too overwhelming. Too many roads, too many directions to give, and barriers to cross, like private resorts. <laughs> I'm gonna eat and see if this turns things around for us. So this is one of the only, if not the only, trail that is not on private property here in Cabo. It's definitely public property. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go and see how it is. I think there's gonna be some nice views off in the distance. I'm a little worried about the maintenance of the trails. Wish us luck. After a pretty long climb up, we're kind of enjoying some downhill. <laughs> Can't seem to hit little jumps when it's my first time seeing them. A lot of this riding so far reminds me of like Southern California riding. Very much like kitty litter, desert vibes. Uh, very, very rutted just because it is so dry. I think I've become a little spoiled with like loamy. Woohoo! See those maneuvers? Loamy tracks. Oh my gosh. I'm getting distracted by trying to talk. All right, hopefully we can follow Nelly down this little trail. Hey, you're good. <laughs> Drop with there. 
trying to get Nelly in front of me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Send it. Oh, that cruise ship just rolled in. One went out, another one came in. Some fun downhill. Oh, hey there. If you're like me, you struggle with IBS. This isn't your best angle. I know, that's why <laughs> I said finally some, some solid trails here to get the blood going. I think that probably solves my Cabo Blues. Not sure if Melanie's quite on board, but I think she's getting there. There's a fun downhill at the end, right? Cabo Blues, they are. The biggest struggle we've had with Baja that we thought it would be a struggle is that there isn't that much mountain biking or like designated hiking trails. And so we don't know what to like fill our days with. Like we can't, we are incapable of just sitting at the beach all day, every day for a month. <laughs> That'll end shortly. We're gonna head back up on the east side. We're still going to a lot of beaches. Oh, for sure. But maybe we can pull out the paddleboard safely or swim. <laughs> Somebody on iOverlander recommended this place, a uh, bakery. Uh, Panaeria de los Cabos uh, was recommended. And it looks like this location right here is where they bake the bread. So it's super, super fresh. It does look like it's in somebody's house. Um, but supposedly tourists are welcome. So we're gonna go check it out and see how it goes. Hey, somebody just drove by wearing a Colombian jersey. Colombia! <laughs> Stay tuned. Hummus? Not hummus. <laughs> it's kind of chaotic in there. Only because they're all running around baking and I didn't want to intrude and like grab the wrong thing, but they were like, just grab anything. <laughs> so that's what we did. And it came out to 80 pesos, which is like $4 for like a month's worth of bread. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna go through this today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, those guys were awesome. They were really, I don't know, fun and just running around. I can't believe they work in there because it is hotter in there than it is outside. Google de piña. That's good. <laughs> this is huge. And it was 30 pesos. What? Bag or small bag? The, I want the plantains. <laughs> oh, wow. What you got? We're getting a little crazy today. We got plantain chips. I've been wanting the big bag of those and regular chips. They look tasty. Ready to ride? 
outside. We got a cooling towel for the dog, plenty of water. Tanya chips, we got muy rico, muy rico. Wow. What? Can we give it another shot on the plantains? Plantaña? No, no. Platano. Platano? Platano. Platano? Platano? Yeah. Muy rico. Pero? Te gusta? Si? I need to veg out for a hot second. It took us like 30 minutes to find this parking lot because, what? No inglés. Oh. Nos demoramos por ahí media hora buscando este parqueadero porque los mapas de Google no saben cómo darnos direcciones. Google es estúpido. Today we're riding at the San Ho Bike Park Mountain Bike Trails. Let's get to it. <laughs> It's been so hard to get the speed going for. Case the shot. So that was Bike Park Sanjo. I think that's short for San Jose del Cabo. 
um, fun jump lines. It's very, very warm, although it's like 75 degrees. <laughs> the sun is strong. So we kept it short and fun and close to the parking lot. And I'd say that's a good traffic and then an ambulance. <laughs> I'd say that's a good find for down here in Mexico where there aren't that many trails. These are pretty good. All right, we are currently on a dirt road that's not on the map and um, that we did not attend to be we on. We did not attend to be on. The road we were supposed to be on was blocked by a bunch of big boulders that like even a four x four truck couldn't get past. Um, unless they had a crane to remove the big boulders. So, we don't know where we're going. Boom. We made it off of that dirt road and I was, as they say, gripped. <laughs> Meeting. I was holding my breath. Then we decided to fly the drone. And uh, that's when we decided to also go as fast as humanly possible because it was pretty sandy. I'm just really glad that we didn't get stuck and that we are back on paved road, even if it's just for a short little bit because we know we're gonna hit more sandy, rocky area. However, hopefully a little bit more maintained. I'm just telling Evan, this is a little more heart pumping than um, the Wrangell St. Elias Road, the one that takes you to the town of McCarthy, which is what our friends the Fenimores described this road as. <laughs> they weren't far off, but I'd say that this one's a little more, um, I don't know, nerve-wracking. You don't think us being stuck in sand prior maybe adds to the anxiety? I think we are definitely traumatized by uh, our full day stuck in sand. Uh, when we first got to Mexico. This path is definitely traveled, however, so I don't think that many people are getting second sand, but you never know. Anyway, this is a very beautiful road. Look, we're definitely not giving it enough credit. If this road were in California, for example, aka um, Big Sur, this were Big Sur, or you could compare this to Big Sur, except it's not paid at all. Got some band lifers out here. This seems to be a theme here, where after these <laughs> drives, I have to veg out while Evan cooks me dinner. I wanted to say, I'm kind of, it's, it's kind of amazing how little actually moves in the back of the van. I know you're gonna be like, I saw that drone footage, that wasn't rough, or I've been down that road, that wasn't so bad. No, if you've been down that road, you probably agree it is kind of crappy. But the first road that we took was insane. Um, and the fact that only the bed shifted, like nothing fell out of the cabinets. That's not to say that we built our van incredibly well. <laughs> That's just to say that there are ways to keep your stuff from falling out of your cabinets. <laughs> and I don't understand why people's stuff is always falling out of their cabinets. We're just using magnets. We're having hot dogs for dinner. Here's my hot dog. My vegan hot dog. We got this hot dog bread yesterday at the Panaria de los Cabos. The vegan sausages we got at Fresco. It's called Fresco La Comer. It's a really nice grocery store. Um, it's almost like a Whole Foods in there. We figured it was the only place we would find like some alternative meats and we did. And these sausages are pretty good. So all around, a great meal, Chef Evan. Oh gosh. Next week in Baja. Oh my god. If that wasn't the perfect birthday present, I just saw the biggest.